Jerry Springer, host of a raucous TV talk show, is dead at 79. The confrontational Jerry Springer show ran for nearly three decades and became a cultural phenomenon. Mr. Springer also had a career in politics. Jerry Springer, who went from a somewhat outlandish political career to an almost indescribably outlandish broadcasting career with The Jerry Springer Show, which by the mid-1990s was setting a new standard for tawdriness on American television, turning the talk show format into an arena for shocking confessions, adultery-fueled screaming matches and not infrequent fistfights, died on Thursday in suburban Chicago. He was 79. His death, after a brief illness, was confirmed in a statement by Jean Galvin, a family friend and executive producer of Mr. Springer's podcast. Mr. Springer earned a law degree from Northwestern University in 1968 and started on a political career, winning election to the Cincinnati City Council in 1971. But he was soon embroiled in the type of personal scandal that would later fuel his talk show. He resigned in 1974 after he was found to have written a check for prostitution services at a Kentucky massage parlor. But Mr. Springer was nothing if not resilient. He was re-elected to the council in 1975. One of his comeback speeches nodded to the prostitution controversy. A lot of you don't know anything about me, he said, according to the Cincinnati Inquirer, but I'll tell you one thing you do know, my credit is good. He was elected mayor of Cincinnati in 1977, and in 1982 he ran for governor of Ohio, addressing the prostitution incident forthrightly in a campaign advertisement. The next governor is going to have to take some heavy risks and face some hard truths, he said. I'm prepared to do that. This commercial should be proof. I'm not afraid, even of the truth, and even if it hurts. He finished third in the Democratic primary and made a career change, joining WLWT-TV in Cincinnati, first as a news commentator. He later became an anchor and managing editor. Over the next decade he won or shared multiple Emmy Awards for local coverage. The Jerry Springer Show, a daytime talk show syndicated by Multimedia Entertainment, which owned WLWT, began in 1991. Originally it was an issue-oriented program. The Los Angeles Times called it an oppressively self-important talk hour starring a Cincinnati news anchorman and former mayor. By 1993, however, lead-ins like Worshipping the Lord with Snakes, Next, Jerry Springer, were turning up, and the shock value just kept going up. A 1995 episode featured a young man named Raymond whom Mr. Springer was helping to lose his virginity, offering him five young women, hidden by a screen, to choose from. Raymond's friend Woody accompanied him. Woody doesn't know it, his 18-year-old virgin sister is one of the contestants. A scroll told viewers, 